Visually, the solid tin coyote is quite interesting, but I feel like it's really slow and not a lot happens after the kind of halfway mark of this cartoon, maybe after the first third. This is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1966, directed by Rudy LaRiva and written by Don Jurwich. And this is a Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoon, and I was kind of interested in the title because quite often the Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote cartoons don't really focus on one specific thing. There's usually a, a great variety of different things that Wile E. Coyote tries. And with this one, I thought, well, is it just going to be one thing? The setup is actually a couple of different things. He tries a few things that I think are quite creative that visually work very well. And then I'd say the second half of the animation focuses on this solid tin coyote. And it's this massive metal coyote shaped thing, robot, if you like, that, um, Wile E. Coyote can control with a, a remote control, but needless to say, things don't always go according to plan. Visually, it is really interesting. The design of it, I think, works very well. The movements of it are quite good. The sound effects are pretty decent, but because it's a large, cumbersome robot, it's not very fast. And one of the reasons why the Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons work well is because we have Attempt after attempt after attempt. Yes, yeah, some of the attempts are slightly longer than others. Some of them take a little bit longer to play out, but usually it's one thing after another after another. The pacing is very quick and it moves on and it's laugh after laugh after laugh. But with this one, I just felt like the novelty of the design wore off relatively quickly. And after that, I just found it to be not that engaging. It kind of lost the essence of why Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons are often quite effective. So for me, I didn't love it. I was hopeful because I thought it sounded like an interesting concept, but I just think it, it takes away from what makes a, a Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoon usually so effective. The beginning of it, as I said, it, it was a little bit quicker in pace with a lot more humour, but as it progressed, I just didn't really care for it. I'd say check it out if you're curious. Visually, it is quite interesting, but in terms of the actual narrative, I feel like it's a little bit of a letdown.